All right, everyone, I know how bummed we are that Tone X does not currently have an editor for the pedal. And uh, I might get some pushback on saying it doesn't have an editor. There is a way to edit presets, of course, but you can't plug your Tone X pedal directly into your computer, be plugged into the Tone X pedal, and tweak parameters on the computer and have them directly affect the pedal itself. What you can do is you can go through Tonex software, make your adjustments there, and then transfer that, what you just saved and what you just tweaked, back to the hardware unit. So that might be a little bit cumbersome, and it is. I really do hope that IK is working on more of a traditional editor. But here are the steps to kind of make a quick change between uh, basically creating a preset within the software and then transferring it to your pedal board. So here's what I have going on right now. I have two uh, quarter inch cables kind of coming into my guitar right now. One of them is plugged directly into my pedal board and then it's going through my stereo Tonex pedals. And then the other one that I have on the ground here is going into directly into my interface and through the Tonex software right here, I have it set so the instrument input is mic line one and then I'm using a universal uh, Apollo and so I have my monitoring to virtual one and virtual two, all that stuff doesn't really matter. Um, but basically I'm taking a line input directly from my guitar straight into the interface and that's what the Tonex software on my computer is seeing. And so actually that's what I'm plugged into right now. So let's just pull this up really quick. So I have a Tone Factor 66 Princeton Breakup 76D. This is what it sounds like. Okay, so now I'm gonna plug into my pedal board and I have that exact same unedited preset uh, dialed up there, and this is what that sounds like. Sounds exactly the same, pretty much, with the exception that it's stereo, and you you can actually kind of tell that it's stereo, and it's kind of a weird way, but it kind of breaks up the same way. And, I mean, the exact same tone, obviously. Here's directly plugged into the Tonex software again. Pedal board. So there are a few things that I had to do, a few adjustments that I had to make. So on the Tonex software itself, I had to raise my input to 8 uh, dB, so plus 8 dB. My output level down here is at 0, and that's fine, but it, my input set to zero wasn't quite right. My input had to be set to eight. So that was important with my guitar and my rig to match what I had on my pedal board. Maybe that will be true for you as well, but just be aware that that might be something that you have to do. Okay, so let's just say I wanted to make some tweaks to this uh, TF-66 Princeton. Let's say I wanted to um, raise the gain on it and and go into advanced parameters and turn up the depth and the presence. Maybe I want a little more mids. Let's go that. So that's clearly different than the original one, right? Okay, so this is just for test purposes. So now I'm gonna save that. And how you do that is you come down here and click this button and name it something different. So I'm gonna say TF DB, uh, my name's Devin Bumstead, and then Princeton Breakup, blah, blah, blah. So I'll save that. That did not write over it, it made a new one. Okay, so now it's down here. Uh, it's uh, TF DB Princeton Breakup 76D, okay. So there it is. Now, uh, now I'm gonna go into the librarian and come into my first kind of free slot here. And I'm going to drag this on top of, you know, whatever I want to overwrite. And it will sync. And so that will go to 16B. Now, because I have two Tonex pedals, I have to plug the other Tonex pedal in really quick and do the same process, but I'll just do that really quick. So now I have it loaded up on both of my 
Tonex pedals on my pedal board. Right now, I'm still connected to the Tonex, uh, to my interface to the Tonex software. So this is the software. Still that overdriven, more mids thing I've got going on. Then I'm just gonna switch the cable. And now I'm in my pedal board. Back to the interface. And there you go. So that's just kind of a quick and dirty way as to how to get all this kind of working together. If you want to make somewhat quicker changes between, you know, tweaking some stuff on the software and then loading it up on the pedal, uh, that's the way I'd suggest you go. But I do hope that IK continues to work on something a little bit more streamlined, a little bit more like a traditional editor that you could just plug the pedal straight into the computer, tweak knobs here, and it tweaks the settings right there. So, but until then, uh, you can use this. Thanks for watching. You can subscribe to this channel if you'd like to. Click like if you liked it, and uh, head to my website, thetoneshepherd.com, and Instagram at thetoneshepherd. Thanks again for checking this video out, and we will see you in the next one.